Talk about, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? Uh, all the stuff that's out there. Yeah, I was re actually really surprised in how the golf course was that close from the Korea town and also from the airport and more like right on the city. So it's, it's very comfortable and, you know, a lot to see. And, you know, yesterday I went to uh, Best Buy and, you know, got myself a new laptop, Ultrabook, and, you know, I'm playing around with that this week. So it's, it's fun. The, uh, there have been very few players that have claimed the number one spot in the Rolex rankings. Do you have you identified something consistent among the number one players that you hope to, to kind of continue? I mean, it would be nice, you know, if I, you know, I could continue for a long time in, in a number one spot. But you know, it's number one spot is some some spot you know, that you know you gotta come down at some time at some point. I mean, you can't be in number one forever. So you know, what I'm trying to do is just you know try to do my best for every week. Like I said, I'm um, just happy that you know, I could actually play for number one every week. Um, I'm very honored that I'm one of the five, five, six players that is actually fighting for number one every week. I mean, that's just a very special place to be. Is there a part of your game that you're trying to improve on or that you've identified that, you, that will keep you at, at number one? Yeah, um, well, my weakest part of game is I think the ball striking skills. I think you know my short game part is much better than the ball striking skills, and um, that's been the that's been the um, part of my game that I've always been working on, and that's been something that I was I always wanted to improve, and yeah, that's something I just always work on to you know get a little better and better. Have you been able to see the course at all? And yeah, I played yesterday and nine holes today. Um, yeah, of course, you know, I played the opposite wind to yesterday than today. Um, yesterday was, of course, was playing a lot shorter, and today's wind, it was playing a lot longer. I only played the back night today, and I was hitting like five hours on every, pretty much every hole, so, and with the wind and cold, it was playing very tough on the back night, so I think it's going to be all depending on the weather and the wind this week. Conditions good, what's a good score out there? Yeah, um, I mean, if the conditions are good, I think somewhere around, like, Oh, 12, 12, 13 under, and I mean, if the weather is staying this way, I think they're like seven to eight. I think, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it played quite tough to, today to me. I mean, with two clubs of wind. Yeah. Is it, you said twelve or thirteen under. Is there a fair score that that identifies a champion from the standpoint of excitement? And Suzanne was, I think, twenty under last week. You know, I mean, how how important is that to be able to play a course that that you can make a lot of birdies on? I mean. It is, you know, it is very good for the fans that you can see a lot of birdies out there and, you know, a lot of reachable par fives. But, um, I mean, to my standpoint, I like the courses that's around like 12, 13 under pars instead of like 20, 25 under pars. I mean, it's it's tough to make seven, eight birdies every day. I mean, even you're a really good professional. Um, I like a little bit of a challenge on the golf course, which this golf course has. And, you know, very sloped fairways, you have to... Um, you know, really position yourself really good on the tee shot, and you gotta pick a really good target on the tee shot. So, and it's it has a, it's a good part and challenging part of the um, course here. Yeah, given the conditions uh, that can be out there sometimes, are you gonna be challenging a lot of pins this week? Or? Um. Well, greens greens are fairly soft at the moment. So, um, I mean, if you're in the fairway, I think we can attack the pins here. But um, if you're in the rough and there's a lot of um, really sloped fairways that leads you to the, in the, into the trees and into the rough. So um, it's going to be, I think, up to really hitting the fairways out here. Indeed, as we talked about so many, you know, you being in a group of players that can be at number one, what do you think that does for the tour in terms of having a number of players who are up there competing for the top spot? We've gone, we've gone through a stretch where Yanni was number one for so long, but to see so many players playing well, is it kind of fun to be a part of that challenge and see such great golf being played by a number of players? Yeah, I think so because, you know, it's... Every week is unexpected, you know, anybody can, you know, become number one. Not anybody, but in you know, a lot of people, a lot of different players can become number one. A lot of different players can be number one in, you know, this time of period. And a lot of people, a lot of players make, you know, it makes a lot of players happy, a lot of fans happy. I mean, they can't expect, you know, only this person to win. And I mean, she's going to run away with the win. You can't really expect that, you know, in this kind of situation. So, I mean, that makes us interesting and that makes the fan interesting also, I think. Any more questions for Envy?
Well, thank you very much for joining us, and best of luck this week.